Hey guys, I'm Michelle from Michelle's Romantic Tangle, and one of the books we picked up when we finally got to go to the library and try out their curbside pickup was Old Quilt's New Life by Sarah Filkey. I think this is new to the library's collection, but it actually came out in 2015. She has done projects inspired by quilts from the American Folk Art Museum, and the way she did it, she did an, a direct, what did she call it, a direct interpretation, and then a modern reinterpretation. And some of them, this is the center star quilt, they all three look the same to me. I am missing something. I love, this book is great eye candy and I love the way they show the quilts displayed because some of them that I didn't love when they were laid out flat, I really like when they show them folded up and you can appreciate the little details. Okay, this one is a burst of sunshine. I love the original quilt. If you don't know from watching my videos or reading my blog, I love antique quilts. This one is 1835 to 1845. Look at that. And then the direct reinterpretation is fine. Spark, which is her modern take on it. I love, just look at that. Remember how I was talking about hex signs? And I know this quilt has absolutely zero to do with hex signs, but that's what I think of when I look at it. Here's the bigger picture. I wanna make that. I want that in my life. I don't know how to do this, but I am willing to learn to do this, to get that in my life. This is a wig rose quilt from 1857, and her direct reinterpretation and her modern take on it. A lot of these, I like the older ones more than I like the modern reinterpretation, and that's okay, because we can all have our opinions love this one. That quilt is, show me a year, somewhere between 1860 and 1880. And this is where I get thoroughly confused because the line between antique quilt and modern quilt really seems to be a blurry one. There's that middle ground of, I guess they call them contemporary quilts, but that's not, I love antique quilts. Remember I said recently I don't applique, but I want to applique, and these are going to be what pushes me over the edge. This one is a Centennial quilt, and it's Centennial G.K. Knappenberger. They think Gertrude Knappenberger is the one who made the quilt, so that she put her name, maybe, in the border of her quilt. That's cool. There's a lot of applique here. These are not... Here's the modern reinterpretation of that one. These are not easy quilts. Or, these are not quick do them in an afternoon quilts. And the log cabin quilts. I love that, but I've done those. I know I can do a log cabin quilt. What I don't know if I can do is this one. It says pitter patter and it is raindrops. And isn't that cool? It looks hard. It looks time consuming and like it would take a lot of accuracy. This is triangles and flying geese and I am just, I thought she said somewhere in here how many pieces there were, but I don't see it. That is an unidentified artist between 1875 and 1900. And the two modern reinterpretations, again, I don't, that's not one I need to make. And like I keep saying, we have our own taste. We don't all have to love the same things. This one is a four patch and triangle quilt. That's pretty. And that one is Barbara Zook, Zook Peachy in Pennsylvania between 1910 and 1920. So that one is an Amish quilt. She did hers, the author did hers in a low volume. I like that. And this one is called Revival. That is beautiful. 
and that is from between 1930 and 1950. It has feed sacks. And let me get to the, where's the modern reinterpretation of that one? I don't see how the author got from point A to point B. I also don't need to see how she got from point A to point B because she wasn't doing it for me. And I think that is all of them. There's a court, the book has, what are these things called? Patterns, templates, they're actually in the book, so there's not a separate sheet to lose. There is not a CD, which I'm not a huge fan of. I've accidentally bought a few books that came with CDs and makes me feel like I have a deadline because I know the technology is gonna change. This one, it is all in the book. I like this. This is fun eye candy and full of possibilities, and I love antique quilts. They make my heart go pity pat. So let me know what I told you what I would make out of this. What would you make? Is there anything in here that caught your eye? Do you like the antiques better or the modern interpretations? Let me know in the comment section below, and thank you for watching. I am Michelle from Michelle's Romantic Tangle, and I'll be back with you again soon.